Hello hi everyone, in this video I would like to show you how to do the integration between ServiceNow and Google Calendar. So here ServiceNow is going to be our client and Google is going to be uh, our service provider. Okay, so we are going to access the Google Calendar API in order to create an event from ServiceNow. So I'm going to send a REST message in the end where I will be giving some instruction in the uh, and then to create in my personal calendar an event that's going to be the end of the video so before even doing that we have to do the configuration so let's start to do that so the first thing that we have to know is to uh, make sure that we have the uh, Google Calendar API activated so I'm going to uh, click on enable API so you have to get to this page by typing console.developers.google.com and then you look for the API that you want to activate so I'm going to look for calendar and I should have Google Calendar API so the first thing is to enable that one so once that part is done we can start to uh, create our credentials so I'm going here credentials and click on this link create credentials I'm gonna choose OAuth client ID choose web application and in here I'm gonna give a name for my application so let's say no, uh, calendar calendar app okay so here we have to provide the redirect URL so I have all this information in my notes here so this redirect URL you will be it's given by ServiceNow so you have if you have done if you have done before some integration this information you already know what is the redirect URL so I'm gonna click on create so and then again once more create Great, so I have my client ID and my client uh, secret. So this information I need uh, to do the configuration in ServiceNow. So the, here I'm gonna just take the, uh, the client ID, paste it here, and I'm gonna take the password, the client secret, and put it in here. Okay, so this is done. Um, everything that we need to do in here is done. Now we can start to do our configuration in ServiceNow. So we have to look for system OAuth application registry, and you have, have this page and start click on new and select connect to third party to a third party auth provider. Okay, the first information is for us. So I'm going to name this one Google um, uh, Client. Okay, let's put Google Client. And here we're gonna just use the information that we received. So the client ID. So I'm gonna just delete this one and put my client ID. The client secret okay and the authorization authorization type uh, sorry the grant type is going to be authorization code okay and in here I'm going to put the authorization URL which I have already so if you don't know how to get this information you have the entire documentation available in this link so documentation i'm going to just show you quickly so you have to go to developergoogle.com identity and look for guides and you will have all the information here so if i click here or to server side web apps and you have the step by step what to how it works all the links then you need and how to get the access token all the information you have it here as well the scopes so the scope so I have already the scope so yeah sure I have it so now I'm gonna just take the token URL so I'm gonna just close this one put the token URL in here 
and the redirect URL it will be automatically generated so you can see that information right here leave it empty for auto generation and we have to enter our scopes our scopes I'm gonna just take so we will we need to have permissions to access the calendar and as well have permissions to uh, for creating events okay so the first one the calendar and the second one calendar events so comparing to other integration this is my first time I am putting a URL so so far what I'm done so here I'm gonna just events okay just put events I have only one calendar so I'm gonna put just calendar and I'm gonna save this one and click on OAuth entity profiles and choose Google client default and make sure that you have in here the OAuth entity scope which you have to select once more so this is already done I'm gonna just save it once more and our configuration in the uh, ServiceNow side is done okay we have one more thing to do is to just to create the rest message that's from where we can ask for a token so I'm gonna ask for a token so I type rest message in here and um, create a new one so it's going to be Google outbound quest so it's much more clear for me in this way and the endpoint is going to be this one okay for the event so we are going to directly create an event so if you are looking this thing with the endpoint in the documentation you will get this URL but you will not have the primary keyword here I am using here primary keyword I because it is I have only one calendar if you have multiple calendars you have to first do a query uh, I mean you have to send a rest message in order to find out what is your what are, what are your, your your calendar IDs so you have to get your ID first for the which calendar you are going to work on and then you have to specify in here the calendar ID so as I have only one calendar I can just use primary so this information you have it as well in the documentation so now I'm going to choose OAuth here and uh, look for Google and and this one. So I'm going to submit and open it again. And this is not going to be a default get. It's going to be a, a post method because we are going to create an event on the other end. Okay. And here I'm going to just name it create event so it's much more clear and also in here we have to specify what is the content type so it's going to be application JSON JSON sorry so I'm gonna save this one and now you have to enter something in the request body because we are going to create an event we have to put here in uh, json json uh, what event which time what is the end time to whom you would like to send the um how to say the the email in order to inform there is an event or what time zone this kind of information for which day so this kind of thing you have to enter here so it's not like we have to put the, some instruction here so I have already here which I already created so I'm gonna just copy paste so this one I get it as well from the documentation so you can have it from let me give you a little tip how to have this one so let me just okay, not this one let me just go here and look for calendar API and if you look for event insert 
so you will have what is the endpoint as you can see here I just uh, I informed you before that you will have calendar ID I'm using primary as a keyword because I have only one calendar if you have multiple calendar you have to specify which calendar you would like to use that's the first thing and if you scroll a little bit down you will get here different uh, request body um, so we have in different language so we have in Java Python PHP Ruby and JavaScript in here I'm just took this part here what we have in var variable and change the code like usually replace the uh, quotation by double quotation and you check for example in JSON JSON sorry JSON online editor to make sure that your your what you have modified is proper so in this way I got my code uh, properly so I'm just using that and this just for an example so I'm not writing here it's just to check is is the integration going to work or not if it is going to create an event or not so I'm going to update okay so now I have everything ready and it's time to request for a token and let me check okay so there are something that I missed so I have to choose here Google client default save it and in order to have this link get our token so this is the moment it's going to happen or not so I'm, we're gonna we are going to check so I'm gonna click on get our token perfect so I have the first window which is asking which account you have to choose so it's going to be this account and you will have probably this message this app isn't verified because it's asking you to verify I'm gonna bypass this and I'm gonna click on this link go to service now unsafe now is asking you to give the permission so I'm gonna allow once more because I have to choose two two scopes now I'm gonna click once more allow perfect so if there is no there are no errors it means I have my token what token what access token is available but will expire in in around one hour okay so let's now test if my code is going to work if my rest message is going to work if it's going to create a calendar uh, an event or not so before even that I'm gonna just show you uh, in the request to say I have the day 25 25 right uh, the title is 30 minute and I'm going to put 30 minute introduction and save it on more and look show you my calendar so in my calendar for the date specified here 25 I have no event created so I'm gonna just refresh once more in order to show you I have no event now I'm gonna do the test to check if it is going to create or not so I'm going to click on test okay perfect I have a status 200 which means everything went well so I have an event created let's check if I have in my calendar perfect so I have an event created 30 minute introduction which I have changed for example I can I'm gonna do another one and to just show you that this thing is super fast so I'm gonna put like this I choose 27 as a day I put 30 minute intro save that one okay I'm doing in the uh, test thing so which is wrong okay I'm going back here 30 minutes intro put in 27 so for the for the day 27 okay have it save this one great now I'm gonna refresh as you can see for the 27 I have nothing now I'm gonna run the test perfect I have status 200 which means everything went well I should have an event created as you can see here 30 minute intro not introduction and if I double click I can see who received this uh, request so two of my personal email and I have the uh, 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 
time zone which is I specify here Europe Prague and so on and I have the uh, text which should appear in, in the for the event so which is here in the description so that's how you can do um, a rest message, do the integration in ServiceNow for with Google and you have a lot of more API this is not the only one so if you if I go here and and if you look for APIs I'll probably if I go one more step one step back okay so okay I'm just going to do this put it like this okay let me just look for the library yes so you have a lot of more APIs in here to um, actually do so you can do for Gmail API you can do Google Drive uh, Google Sheets dialog flow and there are some much more interesting one to do the integration so once you have done that with one the rest must be easy and it's extremely fast it's it's not giving you a lot of error message and it is always working it is not like some other integration thank you very much for watching hope you enjoyed bye